Hi, this is Techverse. In today's episode, I'll show you how you can make a 3000 watts retent inverter. So the heart of the project is the TL494 PWMIC and the power MOSFETs for the project are the IRF3205. You can use any other power MOSFETs written for 375 amperes. So if you parallel four of those, ensure you can be able to pump more than 300 amperes. So this is the input 12 volts and here is the connections to the primary of a center tab transformer. These are the four MOSFETs on one side and the four MOSFETs on the other side. The, each they are connected in parallel, four of those. So the schematic is uh, shown. The battery and the input filtering capacitor. Then the IC, they connect everything as shown and this will configure it to generate two push-pull square wave signals. So the pull-up resistors or current limiting resistors, they are 100 ohms and two watts each so the this ic can source of sync about 200 milliamps so just ensure at 12 volts use the values that will ensure that you do not draw more than 200 milliamps since you can easily damage the ic then connect everything as shown the frequency is determined by r1 and c2 with the parameters are shown as 100 nanofarads and 100 kilohms the frequency is 50 hertz this is the formula if you want to Obtain any other descent frequencies, connect in the 10 to 5 volts to configure it in push pull mode, then connect pin 15 and 2 to 5 volts also, and pin 1 and 16 to ground. This will disable the air amplifiers from affecting the output PWM, then connect pin 3 to pin 2, and dead time pin 4 to ground to ensure maximum QT cycle. So when the emitter E1 is high, Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. The upper side MOSFETs will all conduct and current will flow from the 12 volts coming of the battery through the ROAS primary of the transformer and through the MOSFETs into ground. When E2 turns on and E1 turns off, so the raw MOSFET will all conduct and current will flow from the 12 volts battery through the other half of the primary winding, through the drains, through the MOSFET into ground. So the 4 kilo ohms gets us Distance resistors ensure that the MOSFETs on either side remain completely off when they are not being driven. So this is the connections for the primary of the transformer. So and the output will either be 120 volts or 240 volts depending on the transformation ratio. So just keep that in mind. The PCB is as shown. It's rather simple. It just occupies about 10 centimeters by 5 centimeters. So everything is connected as shown. The blue are the bottom copper and the red is the top copper or just a jumper. And this is the final view of the entire project. It's a rather niche and compact project for its power. So that's all for this 3 kilowatts inverter project. Please do like this video below and Subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials and projects. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a nice time.